situated here. Okie dokies, I am back. And what you see here is a really, really hefty knife. I mean, this thing weighs about three or four pounds. It is mammoth. Uh, first impressions of this uh, machete. My, <laughs> well, my first impressions of this machete. Two words. Holy shit. This thing, man, I love this knife. Holy shit. Look at this thing. Uh, basically, this is designed after the Rambo 4 knife. The knife that Rambo used in the latest movie. And damn. This thing could cut down a forest. Seriously. Wow. Uh, just look how thick it is. Look how thick this motherfucker is. It's half inch thick. Or at least I think it's half inch thick. I'm not really sure, but it's pretty fucking thick. I mean, damn. And wait till I tell you how much I paid for this thing. $10. Or, you know, $18 with the shipping and handling. But damn. This is one hell of a knife. This is one of the factory seconds from a knife that cost a little bit more. Uh, the, reason, uh, the reason it cost $10 instead of the higher price is basically they fucked up on the paint job. Like I give a shit, you know? But wow. This thing... Well, first of all, it's uh, supposedly made of 1060 carbon steel, which is amazing. The blade, it doesn't come really, really sharp, but I could fix that. Or I could send it to somebody who could fix it. Uh, it comes with a lanyard hold with this uh, really cheap uh, lanyard, which I'll probably replace with a 550 cord, or have somebody else replace it. And the handle, I'm not really too thrilled about the handle. It's kind of sticky. kind of uh, tur uh, turns your hand uh, black. So I'll probably replace the handle with 550 cord as well. Uh, other than that, damn. This thing is a mon- look how thick that fucking steel is. That is a thick fucking blade. I mean, look. Alright, I, I have the cold steel heavy machete to kind of <laughs> to compare it to, which is kind of a joke. Can you even see the cold steel machete <laughs> when I turn it this way? I think it's a joke. This thing. Damn. Seriously, my first impressions when I got this, like a uh, half hour ago, was holy shit. It's basically a big, sharp hunk of steel with a handle. <laughs> holy shit. This thing is badass. I definitely need a sheath for this thing, and I'm going to carry this thing for a survival knife in the woods. Definitely. <laughs> Holy damn. I love this. And again, the handle turns your hand black and dirty, sticky. You hear it. But like I said, that's an easy fix. Just take it off, clean it up, put 550 cord around it. Replace this lanyard with 550. Damn, this... <laughs> I am very happy with this knife. Like I said, uh, 1060 carbon steel. The blade is almost a foot long. Yeah, uh, the blade is almost a foot long. Oh, and you're probably wondering what the hell is up with these marks. They're all over. Like right there. Uh, they are from... Well, uh, this knife was made by uh, Hill Gibbon, or however you want to pronounce it, or whatever. 
And like I said, it's a factory second, so they machined his name off the blade. And basically, it's a factory second because, I think I already said this, but they screwed up the paint job or something. Like, I give a shit. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe they screwed up the uh, handle wrapping or something. I, I have no idea. Like I said, I'm going to replace the handle anyway. Well, you know, the handle wrap, not the handle. And I, I could just spray paint the blade. Doesn't matter to me. But damn. Other than that, the blade material is the same. 1060 carbon steel. Pretty damn sharp. It could be sharper. I'll send it to somebody to sharpen. Or maybe I'll sharpen myself, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of lazy, so I'll probably just send it to somebody else to sharp, uh, sharpen. But some machete, so it doesn't have to be razor sharp. But wow, there's no burr on this at all. The blade looks like a monster. This is a hell of a lot thicker than my meat cleaver. And that thing's thick. So yeah, for 18 bucks, you can't go wrong. And if you guys want to know where I got this, uh, well, I was going to say just uh, send me a PM. Actually, yeah, uh, just send me a PM if you're uh, really interested in this blade. I'll show you exactly where I got it. Alright, but damn, this thing, I cut down a tree with this thing probably, most likely. You can probably hear my dog in the backyard barking, apologize. But damn, this thing is awesome. And I apologize for the boring video, just me looking at the blade and see like oohs and ahs and everything like that. There's a fly in the camera. Alright. But yeah, this thing... Wow. Uh, if, uh, you're one of those people that are uh, one of those uh, Nancy bitches that are like, oh, this is really heavy. It, 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 it weighs uh, 16 ounces. I can't care. This is too fucking heavy. Then this is not your knife. Plain and simple, it's not your knife. Don't buy it. Don't even think about buying it. This thing weighs like three or four pounds. All right? Not your knife, if you're one of those people. If you're like me, though, you like something that's going to last pretty much forever. This will last forever. I guarantee it. I mean, if you break this, then... What the fuck were you doing with it? <laughs> I mean, seriously.